So there's two ways, there might be more, but there's two ways that we're going to talk about. So the first way is the easiest. This is going to be your input, a mixer. a 90 degree phase shift back in the mixer and here's your output. So quite obviously if you mix a signal with itself it's gonna come out at twice the frequency but of course since there's also other harmonics present you need to filter afterwards. Uh, you really need to filter especially if you use this mixer method you're gonna get a lot of intermodulation so that's one of the reasons why this version isn't used very often. So here's your filter, here's the output. So that's the first method, very easy. Now the second one is a, so just as simple. So take an amplifier, put a signal in it, Um, th ideally, if you have the ability to, you want to use a device that's uh, not non-linear so that you generate your harmonics that you want. Um, so uh, overdriving it a little can help you a little bit. You just got to make sure you don't destroy the, uh, the amplifier. So, but often amplifiers, uh, frequency multipliers, don't just multiply you know, by two or three or some small number, which you can easily do at one stage, but they multiply by huge m numbers like times 12, for instance. And we're going to look at a mini circuits multiplier. We're going to open it up and see what method they used. And uh, it's a 12 times 12 multiplier, and that's quite a bit. So if you do that, you simply add another circuit that does the exact same thing and this is a bandpass filter so I need to put these in there same here alright and let's add another stage for good luck and I know my drawings are horrible I always failed all arts classes no joke real talk alright so Two times three is six, and then we multiply times two. So what you absolutely want to do is uh, use the highest number in the in the beginning of the chain, simply because likely the higher the frequency range, the more complicated it's going to be to generate high powerful harmonics. So be sure that you do the highest step that you can do immediately. You could do five probably but uh, it's not recommended so anything higher than three you try to build multiple stages so that's basically it that's how frequency multipliers work so if you look at a off-the-shelf multiplier that's likely what's on the inside and speaking of which I have a mini circuits multiplier that we're gonna tear down it's gonna be a mini tear down so we're gonna look at the insides and maybe we can recognize something from the board let's see all right here's the mini circuits Z Okay, here's the mini circuits CX901263. It is a frequency multiplier with an output range of 4.5 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz, and it's a times 12 multiplier. That's why I used the times 12 example. So I already removed the screws, so let's see inside. And uh, I give you a heads up, I'm doing this through a monitor that's uh, set up right next to uh, the camera. So uh, you may see things that I don't see. So do not get onto me for me missing stuff or uh, going over stuff. So what you see is uh, your RF path comes in here. You see a MMIC multiplying the signal. It gets filtered, runs through here. Then there's a bunch of filters. Those little things above my fingernail, they are filters. 
goes into another MMIC and then goes down here into this little box and that box is actually a integrated multiplier so it's a times two multiplier for the frequency range in, in question here, four and a half gigahertz to six gigahertz. So many circuits used one of their own off the shelf parts here to uh, save a little bit of uh, design. And that's perfectly fine. You know, you can buy these integrated multipliers uh, everywhere. And uh, so you don't necessarily have to build your own. You can just go ahead and buy an off the shelf one. Well, anyway, so there's really not much more interesting in here. Like I said, there's a bunch of filters, and that's pretty much it. Filters and MMICs. That's the bottom line of this entire setup. So, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, still give it a thumbs up. And please leave your com comments down below. Thanks.